Well, 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 everybody. I don't know what to expect with this one, but by what you've seen in the thumbnail and the title of the video, you know that I'm going to be trying the United Kingdom. The British Isles have been inhabited for over 30,000 years and have been involved in everything from Roman conquest to British invasion. It is also the poster child of the fish and chips, pubs, and weather condition commonly known as rain. Conquest to the British... Ro oh, the Roman conquest to the British invasion? The British invasion? They left out a lot here. I mean, there's there's a lot of history behind the United Kingdom. Like, a lot, a lot of history. It's been invaded and taken over by tons of tons of different people. Um, and they originally got there thanks to Doggerland as well, if I remember correctly. Um, which is all underwater now, but... Anyways, uh, I don't expect to get a very high score. I, I'm not very good. I mean, I can read the language, right? But I don't I don't truthfully know very much about like cities uh, in the United Kingdom, nor geography. I would imagine a lot of it looks very similar. But hey, that's what we're here to do. At least that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to... Uh, learn and better myself uh, along the way. So, normally I, I do the USA guesses, which I'm still going to be doing, but I'm also going to be doing the United Kingdom guesses. I'm going to slowly work my way through the, the countries that have the language that I, uh, that I can understand the most, and then I'll branch out to other countries, yeah? But, it's just without further ado, because we've been sitting here talking for rambling for like two minutes. Let's 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 get started, yeah? Three minute rounds. We can move, we can pan, we can zoom. Let's go. I've done this once before, as you saw, and I I had gotten 20k on it, but I think it was a uh, I did it on a live stream a long time ago, and I think I allowed myself uh, unlimited time. But I, I I or maybe it was just five minutes actually. But, yeah, I don't know. Hey, guys, I think we're in the UK. <laughs> yeah, we need to get some signage. We need to find some signs. Here we go. Earl's Colon and Cogshaw. Well, that def... Oh, wow, it starts us zoomed in. Well, that's nice. Um, I'm going to put us middle. Because that definitely sounds something slightly more middle. Middle of the road. The Tavern on the River. Oh, what river is it? What is this river? The Faring River? Mm. Maybe we go by finding the good old Faring River. Where are all the rivers at, yo? <laughs> it's like, where are the rivers? Where are the rivers? I don't see any rivers. Is England not very well known for their rivers? I, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if they weren't well known for their rivers. They've got to have like little streams and little, little tiddlywink, the river-esque. Hmm. Okay, well, let's, oh wait. The Railway Tavern. Hmm. Yellow license plate. That's a bit unusual, right? A unisex salon? Aren't all salons unisex? Why does it have to be broadcasted that it's a unisex salon? I'm pretty sure I've gotten my hair cut at salons before. And it never... Is that the world's end? <laughs> I've never... It's never stated it was a unisex salon before. Okay. A little unusual. I don't know. I don't know why I find that unusual. It's just not something that I've... I've I've necessarily seen before. Hmm. <laughs> it's a nice place. It's it's definitely a nice little suburb. I wish I could just find a couple more signs, though. I think I passed... Yeah, okay, I did pass a big sign. Okay, this is, this is, this is where... This is where it's at. The A12 and the Five Lakes? Like, what... What constitutes as a lake here? Oh my god. There are so many A's. Alright, well. There's an A2. A23. A10. A11. 
Um, A15. Oh, there's Col Colchester. So that was a bit more of a southern. I thought that was going to be more of like a, a middle type of area. Hmm. We were in the, the greater, greater outer London area. Yeah, so there's Colchester right there. 2,800 points. Oh, wow. They've really diminished the amount of points you can get here. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, that's enough coffee. That's enough coffee. You probably don't like hearing me doing a sippy sip on it. Uh, next round. I say, you know what? If if we had moved a little bit faster on that, we probably this is more of a middle middle of the road guess, isn't it? This is this is definitely going to be um, like middle countryside, right? Uh, right around not that area, like here area maybe, or yeah, okay, sure. I'm talking like I know. <laughs> I'm talking like I know. Oh my god. Um, I actually, I actually don't know. I would like to get to see a sign though. I feel slightly more confident in this series than I do in the USA series. To get a good score, right? Just because it's the the area that I'm working with is so much smaller. The Scaith Muir Toll. It's so much smaller, and I'm actually genuinely exciting, excited to find um, find out more about the UK. I've always wanted to visit. I've always wanted to visit. So just being able to go in here and, and look around and, and like just take a look at everything actually seems like a lot of fun. It actually seems like a, a like an actual genuine amount of fun. Um, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. We have a minute 30 to hopefully find something. We know the name. It's Bur it's Burm Burmham, Bringham or something like that. I said I knew the name. I didn't actually. I don't actually remember. And I know it's not Birmingham. Um, I don't like how the, the, the some of the cameras like twist you around though. I do think we're like right in the middle though. So I think I think where we are is a pretty good bet on a halfway decent score. Um, again, for this series, I wanted to try to beat the average, which I believe was 12K. So if we're able to get over 12,000, which, now that I'm thinking about it, might actually be really hard to do. It might actually be really, really difficult to do. Marshall. We got tractors. Um, oh, look, nice little... Nice little town over here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. I probably should have spent more time just looking for the town, but I want to try to find the road as well. Cold Stream, the A612. A6, 6112. A6112. Oh my god, I'm going to need like glasses or something for this. Oh, it was really far north. It was really far north. We have we only got 322 points. That was very far north. That was very far north. Okay. Well, there we go. There's my my first bad guess, I guess. Um all right. Well, we got the answer in the end. Uh, if only I had known a little bit better. Every Wednesday, Tandoori Nights. Oh, adults only? Indian restaurant, okay. Oh, we're... We can't go that way. Okay, well then we'll go this way. Um, What city is this? Uh, do, do they have that labeled on their... There are things here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Fresh, fresh, fresh. We're in the city of fresh, baby. We're in the city of fresh, baby. Live sports and ska. Ska? This feels like we're in a slightly larger town. Rear walkway. So I, I feel slightly... Oh, 
Okay, well, all that's gone. That's fine. We can we can move on. We can move on. I feel slightly more confidence. I don't know if that's that's false confidence. Um, Ar Armaldo Road, Rimsdale Walk, leading to Broadgate House. Hmm. This place is very confusing. This place is just very confusing. <laughs> God. This place is very confusing. It's a bigger city, though. So we got to go further south, right? Right? Like, that's the safe bet. I guess the, the farmland-ish area is to the north. The If you go further south, that's, like, more densely populated. I just thought the farmland area was going to be around here. Or am I am I am I, am I mistaken? I I must be mistaken. Mistaken. I probably should have done a little bit more research before just diving into a UK guess. I guess. Um. <laughs> I don't know where we are, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's like the UK is nothing but a suburb. I was hoping that some of these things would tell me like a city name. Sus. Oh, <gasps> sus. Oh God, it's sus. Oh god, it's sus. Sussy Baka. It's very sus, guys. It's very sus. It's very sus. Okay, we found a road. Can we get over there? Yes, we can. Okay, we have 19 seconds. Let's see what we can find in 19 seconds. Like, just a major city name or a city name that I would understand. Lost Stack Station. Don't know what that is. Lost Stack. Law stack? Do we see a law stack? Oh, all right. It was up by Manchester. Okay. We only got 1,500 points. That per rough. There's law stack right there. That per rough. Oh, no. <laughs> What's our score? 4,700. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. No parking. 24-hour constant use tollway zone. Christon Road. Mm. We're on good old Christon, you know. I know where Christon Road is. Do you know where Christon Road is? I. Me. I know where Christon Road is. It's right over there. Guys, don't you know? It's right over there. Good old, good old Christon Road. Look out. Crow Dawn Neighborhood Watch. And they got pictures of um, meerkats? Is that what those were? What are the, what is what is Timon and Pumbaa? What is what is the the rodent in that 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 duo? What is the rodent rodent in that duo? Hmm? Hmm. Timon. Pumba, what is the rodent in your duo? Why does this feel like I just can't even read this? Holmesdale Road? Car body repair. You, are you sus as well? You're cool and fresh. Why is there a Brazilian flag here? <laughs> oh my god. There's a Brazilian flag here. That's pretty dope. Right here, look. It's a Brazilian grocery store? That's so actually amazing. That That is actually amazing. I love it. Oh, that's so cool. Free home delivery. We have a minute left. Unisex design wear. Why does it have to label that it's unisex? Why not just... Cater to both. African takeaway. Okay, so we've got to be, like... Crodon Surrey? Alright. Um, Surrey's a city, right? Is Surrey... Surrey's a decent city. I've heard of Surrey, right? Or am I mistaken? Am I mistaken? Well, there's buses here as well. 
Saxon Road. Lisa Florist. Hmm. Hmm. So we're in we're in Crodon. We're in the city of Crodon. Okay. So where's Crodon at? There's Crodon. All right. All right. We 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 found Crodon. So at least at least we got a halfway decent score. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. So just instantly put us to the north then, the northern side of of the UK. I think the northern side of like. Like, if we were playing a world challenge, and I saw this, and I put us, like, northern UK, that would be, like, no matter where it was, it'd be, like, 4,000 points. But I feel like just because we're playing the UK map, and we're off, then we would be, it would be, like, 200 points. <laughs> uh, Kimberly, Southburg, Shipton. The B1135, we found a road sign, guys. We've we've actually somehow found a road sign. But it's going to be a tiny little road. Oh, yeah, it's going to be one of these white roads that I don't know if it will be worth me looking around for. Um... Yeah, I think I think we need a little bit more information. Those those city names don't know don't mean anything. I can put a marker here, right? Where do I put a marker? There we go. So I set a checkpoint here. I, I I'm probably gonna have to utilize checkpoints a lot in this series, so much so that I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go this way and uh, go the opposite way. We have a minute forty. We have a minute forty. Um. About the only thing I know about the countryside of the UK is all based off of that Jeremy Clarkson farming show that he did. But even at that point, I thought it was more middle of the road. Hingham, B1135 Craneworth. Like, what the frick? Hingham? Is there a Hingham? I, I'm pretty sure, like, his show, like, takes place, like, down here, I thought. But I... I guess I'm just wrong about these things, you know? Oh, hold on. We found the the smaller B numbers here. Uh, all right, so what are the cities name? We're looking for Cranworth and Hingham. Cranworth and Hingham. Church of Finton. Hold on. Where did I see? Oh, no, we were looking for Hardingham Church. And shipped ham. Uh, ship worth. Um, Spelding Hillham Hillam. Uh, Bickerton Long Marston. These, it's like I'm reading a different language. <laughs> it's like I'm reading a different language. It was down here? Well. Can I just, can I just point out one last thing here? We were around like B12, B12. Right, and up here is like the B6000. It was like B6000 up here, right? A6000, B6000. Why is B11 all the way down here? Where, where's, where's B11 at? Where's B11 at? What? Why is there no B11? Oh, there's a B11 right there, B11. Okay, well... I got London, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Well, good start to the series. A very, very good start to the series, I would say. Very, very good start to the series. Um, I'm looking forward to doing more of this. I'm definitely looking forward to doing more of the United States. We didn't quite beat the average score, unfortunately. But uh, maybe someday, yeah? Maybe someday. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you have a good one. And uh, if you have any tips, let me know down below. Because I actually 
now that I'm, I'm thinking about it, I actually don't know a single, single geo-guesser tip for the UK. Other than Isle of Man. Well, not even, it's not even like a tip. Like, Isle of Man is very noticeable. Um, and then, uh, there's just the signs when you're in a major city. It's very noticeable. But when you're outside of a major city, I guess it's like rough as heck. Hmm. I don't know any tips. Never mind. Have a good one. Goodbye.